hello friends today in this video i will show you how we can move all disabled computers from various organizational unit in your active directory to a specific custom organizational unit that is inactive computers or disabled computers how you have assigned the name of your organizational unit so you have to mention accordingly but in my in my video i am just going to uh, move the systems which are disabled like test underscore 03 which exist in computers similarly if you go in the sales organizational unit here I can see again a new system that is test underscore 01 is also disabled so this is the uh, like uh, identification of a disabled system if you go through like right click and see currently it's asking to enable but uh, because we this system is already disabled so we are getting the message like enable account but if you enable it so you will see a disabled account so we just want to move these systems to inactive computers so i have used a powershell script that will help us to moving these systems automatically from uh, various organizational unit to inactive computers organizational unit so i am going to open the powershell script through the powershell isc and uh, file open and uh, i'm going to use disabled computer movement because i just assigned this name but you can change it accordingly so i'm going to explain how this powershell script is working currently so i just created a variable that is dollar ad comps equal to get dash ad computer dash filter enabled equal to false so this this part will just search the system which is uh, which status is disabled which status is equal to false and search base is in domain so this will search in my domain uh, here this is distinguished name of my domain select object property name and uh, property name out grid view pass through title select computers to move so this will show me a like a, a, a graphical interface where it will ask uh, to to select the computers where you just want to move in organizational unit so first in the first variable this will search the system from active directory and this will show on a graphical interface in the next variable this will list the organizational unit which exists in my uh, active directory and it will ask for the target ou where you just want to move the system so this will search the ou in the list of all organizational unit through the for each loop similarly this will also search the computers uh, through the uh, through the through this for each loop and then it will ask to move where you just want so this is the target path of the ou so this will search the ou from the list so now we will just execute this powershell script and will show how uh, this powershell script is helping us to moving the systems from various organizational unit to a specific organizational unit now i am going to click it so now you can see i have two systems which currently uh, status is disabled and uh, if you just want to move any one of them or to all of them so you have to select these systems currently i'm going to select these two and i will click on ok now you can see we are getting the target OU where you just want to move the systems so i'm going to just move this system to inactive computers so i have just selected this organizational unit and i'm going to click on ok now i will go to active directory users and computers snapping and we'll see where system exists which we have just moved now the system has been disappeared from the computers OU as well as also from the cells OU I just refreshed this now I will see in the inactive computers and will again refresh it 
see these systems has been uh, have been moved successfully in in active computers OU so you have to follow the PowerShell script you have to write it on your uh, infrastructure and you can move the systems which are just uh, is uh, which are just exist in various OUs which you are not aware that so you uh, so instead of moving individually you have to uh, use this PowerShell script for moving all systems I mean bulk systems bulk disabled systems to the inactive computers OU thank you for watching this video